Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, Ed. Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I think if it wouldn't have been for Lucy, I would have stopped trying a long time ago because I was always the guy that didn't fit. <laughs> when she did my favorite husband on the radio, they said that I wasn't the type to play the part. <laughs> <laughs> then finally, she wanted to do the television show, and she says, well, I want to do it with Desi. So everybody again said, well, he doesn't, he's not right to play your husband. <laughs> finally, one executive at CBS says, well, maybe the audience would buy him because after all, they have been married for 13 years. <laughs> <laughs> and you know something, though, that I really want to tell you tonight? What Tess Tex O'Rourke said about my first job in this country was cleaning bird cages. It's very true. We came to this country and we didn't have a cent in our pockets. From cleaning canary cages to this night here in New York, it's a long ways. And I don't think there's any other country in the world that could give you that opportunity. I want to say thank you. Thank you, America. Thank you. here to call on some of these other distinguished guests of the dais to pay their tributes. I was going to have John Hodiak get up and say something. I was going to call on Howard Dietz of MGM, who knows him from his contacts with him at MGM. But the time is running out, so I'm going to suggest instead, and with my apologies to those I'm not calling on, let's have a real big hand for these two who are starting off tomorrow on their fourth season, their fourth wonderful season in television. Let's really hear it for Lucille and Desiree. 